Hello guys, welcome back to another Bang Lives video. I'm going to share something with you, a dream I had about the discerning about ISIS. This is very, very disturbing and um, kind of interesting at the same time. I still remember the dream I had because I don't know, because I woke up after I had the dream and I still remember it. It's about you know about the ISIS, how about how they are um, going to schools and trying to get and trying to kill kids because that's that's all part of their plan. About like 9/11, they're going to do something on 9/11. I don't know if they do something. I don't know, but um, yeah, it's it's. I I actually prayed about this about those kids. Like, ask the Lord, can he? Please watch over those kids. It's just a, a really strong prayer. I feel I feel so like sad about it, you know. About those kids going to, you know, maybe they're going to die from ashes. I don't know. I hope they don't. I hope they don't. You know, those are those are God's children, you know. And um, I'm gonna stop with the dream, okay? All right. So I was at school, big building. I went downstairs, down the steps, and um, I went to the door, and I had um, asked the officer about about the ISIS thing, about, is, can you please protect the school, because ISIS, like, a group of them might come to the school and start shooting it up the place. And I saw, and I saw this white van, because on my other channel I subscribed to a long time ago, by His Grace... She said she had um she had the Lord had told her about about these about the children. He said we need to pray for them. I was like, okay, so she talked about yeah, those children. Yeah. And then um I saw this white van. This white van that had like some like Afghanistan like they look like I can't explain like this a big giant black beard and like he was looking back and forth, like at the school, and he said, "That's the officer. That's him. That's him. That's that, that's them, the ISIS group." And he said, and he had his little walkie in the, on his shoulder, saying, "Officer, this is we have a, a, a urgent notice. Please lock down the school, but we gotta protect these children, because I because I had to tell them about what's really happening." And I was like, "Oh, I'm telling them about this happening," and so um, I told him what's happening. And that's when I got very scared. Like I, I just ran out the school. I said I can't handle it. I ran so far. Like I went over parking lots and you know ran just, 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 just kept on straight. That's when I said, what, what am I doing this for? I mean, I really gotta protect the children, but you know I can't protect them because they're my, they're my friends too. You know, we're all family, brothers and sisters. You know we have to protect each other. And um, I was asking the Lord, can I? I was asking the Lord. Just like, please tell me why is this to why is this happening? And that's when a transport like I went to like this car. I was in the car with my grandmother, and guess what? You won't believe who was in that car. You could be shocked. It was the leader of ISIS. The leader of ISIS. I S. I was like, wait a second. Am I in the car with them? We were just traveling the car. And then that's when we passed by the statue of Oh no, wait, no, wait. This is this is this is when we this is when we he told me about the benefits of ISIS. He told me about the benefits of ISIS. I was like, okay. He told me about the chemistry, about killing, you know, about Allah. I was like, oh, Nobody want to hear this. It's just annoying. That's when I saw a statue of Jesus, like somebody had built in their yard, like out of like metal, like real, like metal. They did some good details on them because they had like a wavy, like hair, and a beard. I was like, Amen. I was like, Amen. I said, Amen. I realized, like, Amen. He didn't do nothing. He was just like, yeah, so talking to my grandmother. I guess, I guess my grandmother doesn't know but um I already told her in the real like 
not in a dream, but like in real life about this ISIS group, how they're killing Christians and stuff. So we stopped in the yard at my grandma's house. I got up and um, got out the car and I saw a lot of black folks in my yard. I was like, what the, what is this? And he got the car, the leader. And like a, a checking, a check board and it's like a little, a pad with paper on it. I think checking people off like who's who's going to kill, I guess. I guess because you know, black folks out here, we have a lot, of, a lot of Christians, maybe a few Christians. But we got a lot of churches down here, a lot of churches. I mean, churches on the island, churches everywhere you go, you see a church. And um, that's when I went inside, I went inside my grandma's house. It was like a big, giant church, all the chairs. A lot of more black folks just sitting down talking to each other. And I was sitting down and I was thinking to myself, what should I do? Then I was thinking about my sword. I went back outside again to see what he was doing today. And I said, you know what? I said, hey, hey you, can you, can you hang my sword? Just, just can, can, can you hang my sword? I'm gonna show you the sword right now. Let me get it real quick. So this is the sword right here. This is the sword I have that I used on him. <sighs> this is the sword I used. Yeah, man, it's very dangerous. Um Yeah, that's when I um I had sorry, charging towards I saw charging after the way you know what? I'm gonna end this. I said, I'm going to end this once and for all. So I, I I busted out the church door. And everybody was holding him. He was looking at me. He started, he started to run away. But everybody was holding him. I said, hold him, hold him. And that, that's when I stabbed him with the sword inside his chest. The whole sword went through him. Like, literally through him. I knew, I knew I had to. I just, I just felt like I had to do that. Like, my sword was drawn. Like, I, I just had to just stab him because he's he's and like I was wondering if I killed him well what happened to those other people oh, man. that's when I woke up and um I had well I didn't pray about it about the sermon about the dream I had it was just it was just like a random dream that I prayed for about those kids and that's when the dream happened. Very interesting. But hope y'all hope y'all find this video interesting. I'm gonna post it after this. Um bye.